Hi you guys, welcome back to another Artistic Vegan show. It's Krista Clark with ArtisticVegan.com and today we are going to be making a Mexican food and it is called Gorditas de Nata. And Gerald and I saw these at the carnival and they make them into these delicious little rounds of puffy magical heaven and they put Nutella inside of them. And today we are going to be taking our hand at making them, but making them vegan. So they won't be with the nata, which is kind of a um, curdled cream, if you will, of milk. But instead we'll be using coconut cream to keep it vegan. These are really fluffy, magical. They look like big, huge pancakes, but they're, um, they're almost made into a dough first. So it's kind of like a cross between a, a sweet biscuit and a pancake. These are not the healthiest of recipes, but sometimes it's fun to have an adult treat so that's what we're doing let's get into how to make it the first thing you want to do is mix together your vegan egg so this could be a tablespoon of flax meal I'm using an egg replacer today whatever you have on hand plus three tablespoons of water give that a mix and set it aside for a few minutes to thicken then you'll want to whisk together the coconut cream and this is just a full fat can of coconut milk put in the fridge overnight in a cold environment and then scoop off that cream from the top and then you want to whisk that up until it's fluffy and then you add your vegan egg or your veg and then your vanilla and give that a mix and then you'll add your sweetener of choice today I'm using agave and then you'll want to sift in the dry ingredients you can use a gluten-free all-purpose flour a regular all-purpose flour a whole wheat flour or or another variety therein so you'll sift that in also want to add in some baking powder Powder, some baking soda, some pink Himalayan sea salt or salt of choice, and some cinnamon. And then you mix that together with a spoon until it's nearly impossible and then you'll take the spoon out of the equation and get in there and knead it until it's nice and smooth and supple and then place that in the fridge for 30 minutes or up to overnight. At this point now, after it's been in the fridge, you can flour a clean surface and knead, spread, or roll out the dough until it's about a centimeter and then take a round cutter and cut little circles into them using a cookie cutter or you could even just shape them into circles whatever's easiest for you and then cook them on a very low heat proceed until done and then you can serve them traditionally it's often with the Nutella in there so you can make a vegan Nutella and put that in there oh my that would be really nice or you could do what we did and put some berries on top or even maple syrup mm -hmm. 